All right, check this out. I have synced both airbag controllers to my phone. All right, ready? <laughs> I wonder if they'll go up. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's dope. That's a cool looking car right there, man. What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. I am building the Monte Carlo from the movie Training Day. In this video, we completely redo our suspension so it starts acting like it has hydraulics. Let's go. We are back on our Training Day Monte Carlo build. In the last video, I'd done a ton of work. I got all excited. I got a new system with half inch lines for my airbags. It'll make them move drastically faster than it was before. It has three inch lines in it right now, but we got all the way done, ready to go, ready to go, and found out we were missing some parts. The company didn't send us everything we needed. Well, bada bing. These are the two fittings we needed mostly. I needed a little half inch line with a quarter inch NPT thread to go into my tank and this is the big one. I needed a new pressure switch with 250 PSI. The one they sent me had, I think, 90, which is just not a lot of air, especially when you're trying to move it fast, especially when you have half-inch lines. They're huge. So I kind of just gave up on it, ordered some parts. I was going to wait for them, but now we are picking it back up. I'm not even going to hesitate. I'm going to go change out all my fittings right now to half-inch lines, and uh, I just got cut off right there because I dropped my camera. What I was going to say was after I get all the fittings and stuff changed out, it's time to change the lines. This still has the 3 8 lines coming off the bags going to the back so we need to go ahead drop these wheels down and change our lines out real quick that shouldn't be too bad it should be pretty easy every time i say something's easy it's not that easy but for now let's go change out all our fittings we got it done baby check it out i don't like the way this looks i'll probably end up changing it i went ahead and have two inlets now instead of just one so basically double the air can get in and out just as quick which is nice and we have all of our fittings changed out now to where they will just come straight in from the bags which is nice i was missing i think one of these one of these and then obviously the pressure sensor but naturally whenever i'm missing one or two you know fittings i will order a 20 pack so our fitting numbers are just getting crazy good news is this is all ready to go basically I'm not going to do the wiring yet because the wiring should be pretty simple here. I have a plug and play system. I shouldn't have to splice every single wire like I did before. But for now, it is time to change out the lines on the actual car. I have some great news. I finally found a sunroof. I bought it. It'll be here next week. So, so exciting. I've been looking for a sunroof since I bought this car. 79 Monte Carlos did not come with sunroofs, but the training day movie car has a sunroof. It also has like 85 Camaro or like SS mirrors. I have those coming as well. Those should all be here next week. Super, super happy. The sunroof I've been looking for <laughs> basically the entire time I've owned the car, I've been trying to find one. That'll be here next week. The good news is I did get something today. Check this out. A subscriber sent me these. I believe his name was Sean. This is the actual license plate that was on the movie car. He sent me these, and it's a real license plate. Obviously, I can't run this, but I assumed these, like, movie car license plates that you could buy online, I assumed it was, like, a you know, piece of paper, whatever. This is actually a piece of aluminum. It's actually indented. It looks perfect. So we'll definitely have to put these on whenever we get it done to do, you know, photo shoots and all kinds of stuff like that. But that is awesome. I didn't even know you could buy those. So thank you very much to him. As usual, I'm rambling because I don't want to crawl underneath the goddamn car, but let's get to work. This half inch line is like wrestling a snake. I mean, it just does not want to move. I've been heating it up with the heater so it'll not curl up as much. It's a pain in the ass. It's also huge. You think, oh, 3 8 half inch. Look at the difference, though. I mean, holy shit. The whole 3 8 can go in there. <laughs> I mean, that is an airline right there. I've never really used half inch line before. I've never really needed to. You can actually make airbag setups jump like hydraulics. I don't really care if it jumps. I just want it quicker than it was. There's videos here on YouTube of people jumping them with air. I don't want that. I just want it a lot quicker, but... Uh... Holy cow, it's a pain in the ass. I spent like 30 minutes just trying to get that down the frame rail, and I've only got, oh, that's only one side. I still have three more to go. So, as usual, I'm whining. 
Fronts are done. That was a pain in the ass, but it's done. The rears should be a little easier. These are quotation marks. While I got the rears out and I'm changing my fittings, look at these big old half inch fittings. Damn. While I'm changing those fittings, I'm gonna modify this bracket. Whenever I had it all the way laid out, the back was just a little bit higher than the front. And technically you could raise the front a lot easier, but we ain't raising anything. It's a low rider, baby. So I'm gonna come in here, shave off about an inch and a half off this bracket, and that will make this whole thing lower. Technically, if I wanted to get crazy, I could actually take some out of this too. This is the top side of the bracket, but I'm not gonna get that crazy because we're not going super, super wild. But while I get this out, I am definitely gonna get that extra little, you know, inch and a half out of there while we're changing these fittings out. We might have cut a little too much, but that's okay. <laughs> Ain't no going back now. Let's cut this one. Got everything in. The lines are all in the trunk now. We just need to hook them up to our manifold. I jacked this up as far as it would go. It looks like we made almost two inches up from where it was. I'm very, very happy about that. There's something I'm not happy about though. I was walking over here to turn the heater off and I just realized I have a bunch of red fluid. Looks like transmission fluid, but I was like, there shouldn't be any reason it's transmission fluid. I did turn the wheels back and forth earlier when I was messing with the lines up here. I bet it is power steering fluid. Doesn't make me happy because I literally turned it back and forth once or twice. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set my camera up, go inside, turn it a bunch of times, and we'll see what happens. Cause uh, obviously I need to fix this leak if it's that bad. I can hear it. <laughs> That's not great. Oh yeah. I cannot believe I'm only finding out about this now, but uh, yeah, we definitely have a good power steering leak somewhere. Looks like it's coming from the middle. So I would bet it is most likely a line of some sort. Oh yeah, right there. We got a shitty line right there in the middle. All right, well, gonna order some new ones. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I can't believe I, I've driven this thing like three or four times, never seen that. That's gonna be a project for later, for now. Let's finish up our lines, check them out. Everything is into the trunk. Finally, baby. Sweet. All right, let's hook it up. Everything looks good. This should kick on it. I think while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and put the car on the ground. I don't need it on jack stands. And hopefully it turns off <laughs> here in like, you know, however long. But yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, moment of truth. Oh man, it's up. It's eight inches higher than it used to be. Look at the front. Oh, that looks bitchin'. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. We made some changes, you know, other than just the lines and stuff, but look how freaking high that is. All right, let's drop it. Let's see what it looks like dropping. I do not want to listen to that anymore. Let's take that off. Oh, I got a leak somewhere. Oh, I got a leak right there and there. Well, we got a couple leaks we need to fix, but let's drop it. Let's see what it looks like dropping. Drops a lot faster. <laughs> I 
It still doesn't drop super, super fast. I don't love that. I, that's exactly what I wanted. The up fast was what I was more worried about than the down fast. It's still, it's still going down in five seconds, but it's not just sweet. God, I'm so happy with how high that was with the three eighths line. Also, I made some adjustments the way my uh, bag was in there. You know, there's been all kinds of stuff like that that tweaked it too, but like with the three eighths lines, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll play a video of the last video of this. I only had like maybe that much um above my tire like the fender was only that much higher than the tire and now it's like seven or eight inches like it's huge so that is that awesome is i'm so happy <laughs> we definitely have some leaks we need to fix those so i'm gonna do those right now okay got the leaks fixed uh just changed out a couple fittings looks like everything is fine good news about those fittings is i have hundreds of them now so what i'm gonna do since we have parts coming in next week I'm going to go ahead and get ready for those parts. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take the headliner out. This, I had a bunch of uh, guys reach out to me. Oh, that's gross. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, so that just falls on you. That's great. We're going to blow all that out real well. I had a bunch of guys reach out. They said, hey, these are real easy. They pop out and then you can just recover them. Um, I thought before that I needed to get a whole new headliner, but I had like five or six guys that were like, oh, no, no, these are real easy. Pop them out, glue it, and then you can just put any headliner in there. Real easy. Takes an hour and you'll have $20 of material and you're not buying like a $300 headliner kit. So I'm really not happy about how much of that shit is falling out, but... Let's get the uh, headliner stripped. And I also, not only do I want that out of there so that we can cut our sunroof, I wanna get some of these dents out. I think I can get to this one and a couple more of the big ones that we have up here. I think I can get to those once the headliner is out of the way. If not, I'll use the stud gun on them, but I'm not gonna find out until I get all that shit out of there. So let's get dirty. This is not as in good a shape as I was hoping. It's very brittle. Yeah, it's very, very brittle. <laughs> Let's see, come on, come on. Yeah, there she went. What a brittle little piece of shit. Okay, we are definitely gonna buy a new one because this is nasty. Ugh. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to reuse that. Ugh. Look at the amount of shit. Ugh, yeah. I think uh, just to save myself the time of even having to deal with this, I'll spend the 200 bucks and buy a new one. It is so brittle. 12,000 staples in it. Somebody stapled shit. Yeah, we'll chuck that. Ugh. All right, let's clean this up. All right, check this out. I have synced both airbag controllers to my phone. All right, ready? <laughs> I wonder if they'll go up, let's see. Dope. So I just had to move these around for a silly TikTok video because I'm childish and dumb. But what I was going to say <laughs> before I did that was I got the headliner out. Unfortunately, this giant ass dent back here, uh, there is a brace on the inside of it. So I cannot get it from the inside. So we're going to have to just do a use my stud gun on it. So we'll do some of that tomorrow. Probably fix a couple other little things. I did finally get argon for my welder, so I can weld up the little rust spots I have. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I also have the metal to fix the 
rusty rear frame rails that I have. So I'll probably do all that tomorrow. They do look pretty cool like that in like a triangle together. I will say that though. <laughs> So, before we start to fix our rear frame rails here, I want to fit the bumper up because if I get these all welded and my bumper doesn't fit, I'm just going to have to cut it all out anyway. To get the bumper to fit, I need to put the tail lights in. These are my 78 tail lights. I'm converting this to a 79, so I'm not really using these, but they will work to kind of get my bumper fitting where it needs to be. Once I kind of get it where it looks okay, then we can start cutting out rust and replacing it with good metal. I don't even know what side is which. That's that side. This whole panel back here is hammered, so I'm anxious to start beating it around so we can actually get stuff to fit the way it should. Look at how bad this freaking rear panel is just hammered. Look at this. I can't even get this to fit, and when it does, like, when I get the bottom to fit, I got, look at that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I got a three quarters of an inch and then a half of an inch. So I think, I think this whole thing needs to come out. That's better, but shit. What happened to this car? Ooh, there we go. That came out a bunch. That's pretty good right there. It just shows you nothing's ever easy, man. <laughs> now, I'm, what I'm worried about is because I had to do that on that side too, is that we're, you know, square in relationship to each other. Let me see this here. Um, yeah, that's not great. I don't really want to shut it very badly, but look how far out that is. Compared to that, that's how it's supposed to be. Maybe the top needs to go in, the bottom needs to come out. Ugh, I'm gonna beat this around a little bit so that it fits better. <laughs> There's no point of trying to fit a bumper if my taillights don't fit everything else. So let's hit some shit with a hammer and then see what happens. That was um, much more of a pain in the ass than it should have been. And to be completely honest, it's still not great. <laughs> Get this bumper cover back on. And I'll throw it out there and see what we gotta do. Um, I've been looking at pictures. It looks like it should just sit right on the bottom of these. So yeah, I am not happy with how bad this whole back panel is. I'm probably gonna check online maybe this weekend and see if I can't just buy a whole new back panel. To do it right, this back panel and that quarter panel would probably be good to change just because this whole shit here is just hurting. Hurting bad. It's fixable, but I mean, <laughs> it would be good to replace it. All right, let's get this bumper thrown up there. Okay, so it probably took me two hours to get this set where it's at. Nothing is welded. Nothing is really bolted. I got a couple little clamps. I got like one bolt on this side, some clamps on this side. Such a pain in the ass. The fitting is horrible. I got it where it's okay. It's acceptable. What I'm going to do now is take the bumper cover off so that I can get in there and kind of weld everything. Hopefully, whenever I take the cover off, nothing moves. <laughs> it might, and I might have to start all over. I'm really going to be pissed if that happens. If I get the cover off, I can weld everything. The bumper will still be removable, but I shouldn't have to because it should just be square and ready to go. And uh, then we can go in there probably the next episode because if i mess with it too much anymore i'm gonna get really pissed we'll go in there uh the next episode and plate it all from the bottom let's see if i can't get this cover off without it moving <laughs> if it moves it i mean if it moves a quarter inch i have to redo it all so uh we're gonna be really really careful and then we can hopefully tag weld it but yeah started moving a little bit and I was like okay screw that <laughs> I just got attacked we are gonna move to something else because holy shit that took forever I'm happy with how it looks though not bad we need to adjust our taillights a little bit but that is so much better than it was 
All right, let's do some stud gunning. Actually, I take that back. While I got the welder out, I'm gonna fix that little piece of rust right there. This is the only rust on the entire car, which is pretty awesome to be, well, only rust on the body. We do have some rust back here uh, on the frame, but only rust on the body was right there, so that's pretty great. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that up real quick while I got the welder out, and then we'll start doing some stud gun work. Rust repair is done. Bumper isn't done, but it's, you know, it's actually sitting there. The hard part was getting it lined up to where, you know, it, all the gaps match and that looks like that's where it's at. What I'm going to do now is start trying to get all these dents out that need to be pulled because I cannot get to the other side of them. There's a bunch of them. There is two on the roof, one on the quarter panel. There is a bunch of them on this trunk um unfortunately they're just there's just no way to get to the other side of the dent so you got to pull it out this way so i'm gonna weld probably 200 studs on there start pulling them and i decided since this has been so much just unfun bullshit in this video trying to get a rusty bumper to fit fixing rust repair stuff like that i think what i'm gonna do because i didn't get to see it outside i think whenever i get done with the stud gun work I think I'm going to air it all the way up and get it outside because I want to put it next to the first video where I had it aired up and I want to put them side by side so I can see how high it is because I think the front end, I think the rear end is up a little bit even though we shortened our bracket. I think the front end is up like six or eight inches because it is way up. It looks awesome. So uh, yeah, let's do some stud gun shit and then uh, maybe we'll put her outside. This one is going to be, actually that one's going to be a pain in the ass. This one right here. Oh, that one's really bad. I need to get a, let me get a straight edge and show you. All right, check it out. That's a doozy. <laughs> God damn. It's like two inches and it's a foot. Oh, it looks even worse there. Eh, that's a, that's a big one. All right, let's weld some studs, baby. Four down, 700 more to go. So, great news, bad news though, because it wasn't on camera, but I just popped one of these, and it came out like an inch. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, we basically got it. I'm gonna do it a little bit more and then I'll put the straight edge back there. Check this out. I know it's hard to see stuff on camera, but I mean, we went from, <laughs> we went from, see how it is over there? Just cause it's, it has a little bit of curve on the out. Look, same thing. We went from a two inch dent to essentially none. Now it's still gonna need body filler by all means. There's still a couple little waves in it. Um, I could technically get it completely hammered out, but this car is gonna need body filler in other places anyway. So I'm really, really happy with that. But I was not sure how much of that was gonna come out. And that was really awesome. It makes me happy going into this one over here, knowing how much the roof metal can move. Uh, it's just a little bit thinner than I thought it was. I'm used to working on older cars. This is a 79, basically what I would call a newer car. And I forgot how thin the metal is in some, in some places. But uh, yeah, let's weld some studs up there and uh, then we're gonna take the old girl outside. I just thought about it. I should probably show how bad this one is since I showed how bad that one was. Not great, but not as bad as that one. But I mean, that's still a, that's still a doozy. <laughs> The box of studs fell and it landed upright. Oh, that would have been a 500 count on the ground. That's not too bad. <laughs> Check it out. I probably got 95% of it. Really, really happy with how they came out. I got one little edge here that I want up a little bit more, but I can't do my stud welder because I'll hit the trim. So I'm gonna probably just end up taking the trim out and getting it the rest of the way, but it's pretty damn good right there. I am very, very happy. These two were bumming me. Oh, excuse me, sir. 
These two were bumming me out a lot. This one, um, I was just 100% sure that I could get it, you know, from the inside. And then when I realized I could, and I was like, oh, God, we're good to go. What a very stressful and annoying uh, day. But we're going to go ahead and get her outside, air it up as much as I can. And I want to see how high it is. Damn, that looks pretty good. Look how high it is. It's not even all the way up either. One of my, I started draining my battery, so I turned it off. That's only like, I think 170 PSI. I, I can go all the way up to 225. So it'll go up probably another inch. Fuck, that looks cool. Some of the hydro guys were like, the airbags don't go high enough. That's why they didn't like it. They didn't care that it didn't jump. I mean, I just went up six or eight more inches from where it was last video. <laughs> and it goes lower now in the back because we tweaked that bag. That's a cool ass looking car right there, man. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Check her out. So. Not only is it higher, it's actually lower because we dropped the ass end, I don't know, almost two full inches. Sweet. So happy we went with the half inch lines. So happy I got the higher pressure. This thing is just so much fun. I never really thought I would like a 70s or 80s car, but this thing is the shit. I am extremely happy with how this came out. I knew going to the half inch lines was going to help a lot. Obviously, I knew higher air pressure was going to help a lot too. I just didn't realize I was going to get that much lift <laughs> out of my bags. Uh, I didn't do a ton of adjustments to them, so very, very happy with how that came out. I was just outside looking at it for like 20 minutes. It's so freaking high. I just, I'm always worried about getting stuff to lay as low as possible, but it's kind of cool whenever it's super high in the air like that. Next video, I will have my modern mirrors and the sunroof. Stay tuned for all that. If you are not already subscribed, hit that button now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all the good stuff they do at the end of videos, and check out some of my other videos. Peace. Love ya.